Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm bringing you a video on Thiepfall Ridge in the Object 257. I'm platooned with Spandex and Luke. Luke is in his 1319, Spandex is in his M46 pattern. Um, it's a tier 10 game, and there's two artillery. And now, artillery's not great in the best of cases, but this map is not good. It's a very big map, so there's not many places you can hide from artillery. And both our artillery are British, meaning there's even less places you can hide from than usual if it was like any other kind of artillery. So, you're going to see the first person I head to is one where I've thought about the artillery. Because um, there's a lot of hills on this map, so I'm going to try and stay as close to one as possible in the hope that the artillery doesn't have the gun arc to hit me. I'm going to come into the riverbed. I'm going to push towards the centre of the map, I want to get a bit closer to the anime. I already have a lot of TDs, including Death Star, so I do also have to be wary of the hill at the other side of the map, where a lot of people like to go and sit. Do you see how they come up here? I'm going to slow down, I'm going to take a little bit more careful, just in case. We've got tanks on the hill, the light tanks coming for a spot across the centre, and anything else that might happen. Excuse me, just to mute myself there while I coughed. So, now no one's been spotted, I've decided to push into my position, which again is in the kind of little uh, riverbed here. The light tank has indeed spotted me. I'm wary of the hill, but I want to get to my position so they already can't hit me, or at least there's less chance of them hitting me. And you'll see, this is where I plan to be for the start of this game. I'm gonna hug the hill, as Jotel actually tries to hit me, and gets quite close to be fair. And now look at the mini-map, I think if I can get some shots down this road here, and draw a couple of them down towards me, I should be good. Now we'll have the best gun depression, I'm going to try and use the uh, terrain here to try and get gun depression over the ridge. Just easing forward. And there's a VKB. Now the issue is, that is a very well armoured heavy tank. So you see I'm going to load the... Uh, as I'm backing up, I'm going to think about that, I'm going to load heat. I've not thought of it yet, but you'll see in just a moment, that right there. I realise that if that VKB starts moving towards me, I'm going to struggle to even pen lower plate with standard rounds. We load the heat shells, and if you look in the mini-map, spandex is coming across and will be above me on the little uh, hill behind me to give me cover. If we load the heat for VKB, what you're going to see is, all of a sudden the VKB's disappeared and there's a Gorilla 15. Now he can overmatch my side armor so I can't do the trick of sewing the side, so I have to point directly towards him. And thankfully he hits my tracks. And there's a Yag Tiger base and there's spandex behind me giving me support to stop these guys escaping. Because we want to kill the Gorilla 15 because again, when you're in a 257, if you can kill anyone who can overmatch you, that's a pretty big um, help. So again I'm spotted, I want to watch out for artillery. As you can see, they're trying to nail me. Oh, there's the LZR artillery. There's the enemy artillery trying to nail me. See, I've now loaded back to APCR. The Conqueror's pushing me because I've just fired, but thanks to the Jagdtiger base and spandex above me, the Conqueror could not actually push me where I'm at. So, again, having the support from spandex and the Jagdtiger and the artillery there, very useful. You saw another shell come in from the artillery there. They're really gunning for me. So I'm going to wait for a little bit, get myself unspotted, as they try and hit me again, and get very close. Again, these British artillery, that gun arc, means that even hugging a pretty steep incline like that, they can still almost hit me. So I've decided to push. Um, I'm trying to stay as close to the little hill to my left as possible, but... I can't hide fully from them. He doesn't pen me, them. I'm a bit stupid here, because when I looked at the team list at the start, I saw they had an actual Death Star. Um, so I don't have one of those, but I didn't realise that I have a ship barn as well, so what's going to happen is, I see the TD, and I just try to point my armour at him so I don't get penned by the Hess shell, and thankfully, the Hess shell doesn't pen me. So, the full health VKB is a bit of an issue, because he's angled upwards, the lower plate shot is a lot easier, and now I'm just hoping that the Death Star needs to die, basically. So I've got another standard round loan here, I'm over-angling my tank, I bounce him, 
And that was a pretty ridiculous shot there. I'm amazed the one that actually hit the cupola and two it panned, given the angle he was at. But um, I've loaded the heat again for the VKB. Now it's been finished off. It'll be a wasted heat shell on a ship barn. But thankfully, the team's actually going to take care of him, so I don't need to shoot him. So you see, I'm going to load back to APCR. And now, me and Luke are going to start pushing towards the main hill at their spawn. Because there's two TDs left. They've not been spotted on the hill. They're most likely going to be over there. Now, I am aware that one of them is a Death Star. So what you're going to see is, as I start driving towards there, Luke's going to go in front because he can actually spot them all a lot easier than I can because he's in a light tank. And you see, as I get spotted, I'm just going to take a right and try and use this small little hill here to try and cover my tank. Because obviously I don't want to get shot up by a Death Star in the E4. So now there's this very convenient rock right here allowing me to push up to a position where I can get a shot. I'm just going to snap a shot into the E4. The Death Star backed up, the E4 didn't, and uh, Luke in his 1390 actually got all the assistance from that. So we just got like... I don't know how much assistance, 3k, maybe a bit more than 3k assistance just then, in the space of about 10 seconds. So, very good move for him. He finishes off one of the artillery. And now it's just a race to clean up at the end. So it's already spotted over here, but it's the premium British one, so it's like pretty much as fast as a light tank basically, so I can't quite get the shot on him. Now I'm not quite going to be reloaded in time. Alright, already comes for a drive-by. And you see I'm going to ignore him because I see that on the minimap that the Death Star is indeed driving towards me. And thankfully he misses me. Now I bounced there unfortunately, but thankfully for me, the uh, Death Star decides he's going to try and uh, ram me, so I get a free kill there, and that's a free kamikaze medal because he's higher tier than me. Now I'm going to go sideways on, so I bounce the shot, he drives into me which is fine because he actually tracks himself, and also the closer he is the easier for me to hit the cupola. So by him ramming me I get an easy shot into the cupola and I get all the tracking assistance. So at the end of the game the Death Star on the 257 helped me out quite a bit by ramming into me. But I feel like I made good use of that map considering I hate it with all my heart, and there was two British artillery who were trying to fucking get me. But, thankfully, no penning shot, I survived the Death Star shell, and overall, 77,000 profit, 4,300 damage, 2,000 assistance, 3,200 blocked, 1 kill for an ace tanker, and that kamikaze medal I got from the Death Star for trying to ram me. So let me guys know what you think of Feet Bell Ridge, because... It might just be me being biased because I play a lot of heavy tank, because to be fair, I'm pretty sure in a light tank or a medium tank, like a pattern or something, you could probably get a lot of use out of that map. But in heavy tanks with artillery, there's not many places you can go to to try and avoid them, and that's my only real issue with the map. So Luke came top in XP, 2500 damage and 4300 assistance, most of which came from the spot in the hill at the end there. You got about 7k combined, I got about 6500, and just an overall good game. So thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one.